Okay guys, I'm here at Becker Supply with Lena. And Lena, you guys have the most awesomest graphics. Uh, the Actually your FJ60 t-shirt really like spoke to my heart right here. Yeah. So tell me what you guys offer. Yeah, so we're, we're an outdoor lifestyle brand. We offer products like apparel is kind of like our main staple. Um, and then we also have coffee and candles and stickers and things of that nature. So essentially we try to create products that inspire people to travel and get outdoors, just like we do with our family. Excellent, and yep. yeah, that FJ60 t-shirt really is, this, I wanna buy one that looks just like that one. Yeah. I have one, I wanna yeah. make it look just like that one. <laughs> yeah. Cool, so awesome. what kind of inspired you guys to get into this, you know, you have a graphic design background? Yeah, so we actually both went, my husband and I both went to school for graphic design essentially. Um, and then we actually met in a screen print shop, which is kind of where it all started. Right. Uh, so we've been doing screen print, Jake's been doing screen printing for like 13 years. Excellent. Yep. So, and he mostly these days does the designs. Uh, I, we have two toddlers, so I, yes, I'm very yes, busy. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, we kind of just combined our love of the outdoors and then design and apparel. So it all come, came together. Yeah. Excellent. And it's awesome. I have buddies that do screen print and your everything is very, very clean. Like yeah. I really like the clean aesthetics of your look. Yeah. Yeah. And we try to keep like a very nature driven color tone. So not too many bright colors, something that's very chill and Jake's does all hand drawing. So we like to keep our screen printing like very smooth and simple. So yeah, just quality, easy, you know, well, Jake nails it. Yeah. Gotta be honest. Yeah. He does okay. a really good job. So what's kind of the price points of the shirts, the candles, like what kind of price points we're looking at here? Yeah. So for t-shirts, our typical price is $30 a t-shirt. Um, at shows, we get to do some specials. Right. So sometimes we'll get down to $20. So if you find us at shows, we get a better deal. You never know. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. And what about those cool candles? The candles are 15 for the small, the half pint, and then 25 for the full pint. But once again, those are show specials, so right. you'll find them a little bit more expensive online. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I can guarantee you right now, my wife is going to be getting one of those, especially the peppermint. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's my favorite. Oh, it looks <laughs> awesome. Cool, yep. awesome. And where do people find you guys the products at? So BeckerSupplyCo.com, and then we also have social media at Becker Supply, and then we also do custom screen printing, so that can be found at Becker Press or BeckerPress.com. Woman of the world, I love yes. it. Awesome. Yep. Guys, gotta be sure to check out Becker. They are awesome. Thank you so much, Lena. Appreciate Thank your time. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm here at the Dry Fox booth with Samantha. And Samantha, you guys have the most eye-catching towels and this blanket here behind me that I've seen here at Expo. Thank you. Tell me what you got. Yeah, so they're just really compact, quick drying towels. They're made out of uh, recycled water bottles. So that makes them a type of microfiber. So still really absorbent and quick drying, just completely recycled material. So you don't have to worry about waste. It's a greener product. They all take about 15, 20 minutes to dry. Just really easy for camping, for travel, because you don't have to worry about big bulky towels that are wet all weekend. And you have your, your own kind of thing that you actually fold the entire thing in a bag that's attached to the towel, so you never yeah. have to lose your, your bag. So a lot of um, camp towels have extra stow bags, which just kind of ends up being a nuisance. It's an extra piece of trash that you gotta keep track of. Um, I've actually built a pocket right onto them. So that's on the corner there, they stow into themselves, and you've got a waterproof pocket for your stuff. So phone, wallet, keys, shower supplies, just an easy little pocket just right there on it. That is actually the first thing I lose in my camp towel. The bag that you get in, you take it yeah. out and it goes mm -hmm. flying and you're like, I'm never gonna find yep. that. It's gone. Yeah. Okay, and you also have a new blanket you just launched. Yeah, so brand new camp blanket. Um, so they're full of synthetic down. They're great for chilly nights around the campfire. They snap into a poncho. Um, they also can snap into a sleeping bag, reversible prints. They're just really fun, nice and lightweight. Pack up super small, right? They self stow as well. Awesome, and they look sick like that was the what i draw my eye to it it's the different colors and the variations yeah. and i just i dig it thank you and samantha do you guys have like a different variation in the towel sizes yeah so a lot of companies just have one size i really felt there was a need for smaller sizes so we do have a washcloth size which is great for face and body but also really great for camp dishes and then i do have a medium pack size which is perfect for hiking a lot of women use it as their hair towels and then we do have the big beach towel size excellent and Samantha, you have like an ocean cleanup initiative you're doing, right? Yeah, so because the, the towels are made out of recycled plastic, we do like to give back to the environment as well. So for each towel sold, a pound of plastic is cleaned out of the ocean. That is awesome. And what are the price points on your towels and your blanket? Yeah, so the towels start at 11 and they go up to 48 and the new blanket right now is launching at 85. Sick. You guys gotta be sure to check them out. These are absolutely amazing. Samantha, thank you so much. Thank I you. I appreciate your time. 
All right, guys, I'm here at the Easy Wind Outfitters booth with Jennifer. And Jennifer, you guys have the absolute most badass socks I've seen here at Expo. Tell me what you got. We have Merino wool socks. Um, they are based out of Richmond, Virginia, but they're made in Alabama by a third generation knitter. Nice. All our Merino comes from New Zealand or Australia, just depends on where they can get it from. Um, we make all our own designs and um, they're flat knit, so that makes them sit really close to your foot and it fits better in your shoe, prevents chafing, rubbing, um, blisters. Merino wool is odor resistant. They're, they are um, antibacterial, temperature regulating, so you can wear them in the wintertime and stay nice and warm. You can wear them in the summertime and stay cool because they have that breathability factor. And um, back to odor resistant, you can wear them for seven days without them stinking. Which is good because let's be honest, sometimes you just do that, you know? You do. I'm actually wearing Merino wool socks right now. Awesome. Yeah. I, I love the technology and I love what you guys have done with that technology by kind of putting your own touch to it. Mm -hmm. Like the topo, the colors, the bike theme. I, I love it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So do who actually does the designing of your socks? Uh, my husband and I. Oh, sick. Yeah. Nice. And I know there's a little backstory to the name of your company. What is it? Um, it's based off of the Grateful Dead. There you go. See? Right in my heart. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, what are the price points on your socks? So our, we have uh, shorties, which are $18. And then we have a our crew socks, so there's a cushion version, and then a targeted heel and toe cushion. The uncushioned is twenty-two dollars a piece, and the cushioned is twenty-four. Nice. And Jennifer, where can people find you guys' products at? Uh, you can find them online at EasyWindOutfitters.com, and also there is a list of um, all the expos that we attend throughout the year. Sick. Be sure to check them out. They are super rad. I love them. Jennifer, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you very Thanks. much. All right, guys, I'm here at Defiance Tools with Rich. And Rich, you guys have a really cool new table. I want to hear all about it. Okay, so it's a folding cam table. Uh, folds up flat, three and a half inches flat, but then pops up, so it's full 32 inch height. Oh, it's wow. 20 by 25, so good work surface. Has a solid bamboo top, so you can cook on it, you can prep on it, it's weatherproof. Um, and then it's got great storage. There's three shelves on the inside, so you can store your camping gear, or cooking gear there when you're set up in camp. And then when you're done, it all folds back down, goes in a bag and stores in your rig wherever you, wherever you got the space for it. Perfect. I actually saw the bamboo top is what actually drew my attention when I was walking by. I was like, ooh, that looks nice. So is it solid bamboo? Yeah, it's a one piece bamboo top. Okay. We, we, we tested some different things, some melamine and some other surfaces like that. They just wouldn't hold up to weather. Right. They get a little wet and they always fall apart. Okay. So we decided we you know, bamboo, tried slats first, but then it gave the gap. So we said we needed solid bamboo. And you can use it as a cutting board, use it as a prep surface. Perfect. Um, and then also keeps the water out from what's inside the inside the unit when you're using it. So. Okay. And on the inside, it's got shelving, right? Yep. And is that shelving cloth or is it a harder material? So there's a, it's just a kind of sewn in cloth shelf. Okay. And then it comes in with these hard boards that give you some stiffness and some rigidity. And then when you're ready to go, you just put those in the bottom and it all packs up, folds in the case. Perfect. And who can you see this as a use case for? Like, who, who are you kind of marketing this towards? So definitely people that are doing vehicle-based travel, adventure travel. So maybe they're in a van, maybe they're in a Jeep, a Tacoma. So they want to get to a spot, set up their base camp, and then have some place to maybe set up a, a, a cook stove, a, you know, a, a pro, whether it's propane or, or right. electric or whatever, but something to work from there. Excellent. And what is the price point? Uh, so it's $169.99. Okay. And comes with a three shells, got the bamboo top, all storage bag carried in. Sick. Okay, and you also have a new coffee press, right? Um, it's one we've had for a while. We're just okay. kind of, we were out of stock for a while, we're back in stock. So it's a great way to make coffee. It's, it's insulated mug. And the beauty is you make your coffee, it's a French press style. Okay. And then it becomes your mug. So you drink oh, right nice. out of it. So there's no dirtying another dish or another cup that you need to have. So it works well from that simple. Excellent. And now let me ask you this. The one thing that I, I despise about French presses is the coffee grinds. Right, right. Kind of get into the mix of the coffee. Is yours like a solid system that's yeah. not going to intrude? Yeah, so you've got like a really super fine mesh. It's a built-in right. stainless steel filter. And when you're done with it, you'll have a little bit of liquid in the ground, so it's super easy to clean up. Nothing gets gung gummed up in there and hung up. So you just kind of swirl it around, dump it out, maybe wipe with a cloth, and you're right. ready to go. So perfect. Yeah. All right. And what's the price point on that thing? Uh, that is $29.99 for the coffee press by itself. Okay. We also do a kit where we pair with a grinder, and that's $69.99. So then you got your whole little kit, so you're ready to grind a brew and and take it with you. And that comes in a Molly. I could be a barista. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And where do people find your guys' products at? Uh, DefianceTools.com. And then check our events page on our website. You'll see us different Overland Expos, Adventure Van Expos, and different shows around the country. Awesome. You guys got to be sure to check out Defiance Tools. You guys make awesome products. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Rich. Really appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks.
All right, guys, I'm here at the One Up booth with Kurt. And Kurt, you guys have something that's brand new you're launching here at Mountain West. What is it? Yeah, so we're doing an attachment to our rack attach platform, which is basically a hitch swing out. And it allows you to put on some molly panel accessories and mount traction boards, roto packs, and then we actually have a fold up table as well, so you can put your camp stove on there. And it's an all modular system, so it works with the current rack attach on the market and then any of them that you buy going forward. Perfect. Now, the one thing that I noticed about the system is that a lot of people have like fairly stock rigs. You got your stock 4Runner, but you want to get in the backcountry, you want to bring your stuff, you don't have a, a roof rack. This is an excellent way to carry your fuel, your recovery boards, the things that kind of get dirty and they're bulky, yep. and they don't have to put them in your rig. Yeah, exactly. And there's you know quite a few like spare tire carriers on the market that you can attach stuff to, but there isn't much for people who don't need it. You're like RAV4, TRD Pro type of people who don't right. need who don't necessarily have a bigger tire that they need to put somewhere, yeah. but want to be able to carry this type of dirty gas type stuff outside of their vehicle. Yeah, yeah, no one wants to carry gas in their vehicle. No. No, okay. And uh, let me ask you this, what size bike are these able to carry? And is there any restriction? Does it change what you already have because of the offset of it? Right, so no, the rack attach itself is just a two inch hitch. So you can put any bike rack on it. Obviously putting ours on is preferred. Uh, Obviously. <laughs> so the rack attach itself can handle 275 pounds. So including all of the accessories and then whatever you put off the hitch. Um, so it really depends on the bike rack that you put on the hitch. So as okay. long as everything falls within that 275 pound capacity, okay. uh, it's totally good to run on it. Okay, so let's just refer to your racks obviously because sure. we're here and it's your company. Yep. Uh, E-bikes, are they able to go on with this system? Yes, so the rack that's actually on here right now can do up to 100 pounds for the first two trays. Okay. So you can easily carry pretty much any normal pedal e-bike on the market. Okay. You could also throw on like the XD, which goes up to 150 pounds, which is really made for your Suron Talaria Upco style bike. Right. That can also go on here and be able to be swung out. Okay. Yep. But then again, if you have like just a regular 24 pound ultralight yeah. race road bike. Yeah. It'll also go on. Just Absolutely. Just okay. Yep. And this, the, the way that the rack works too, you can run a five inch fat tire or you can run a 23C road tire all on the same rack. Okay, I noticed right now you have a lot of accessories on here. Are there more mounts that you're coming up with this system or is this kind of what you have right now is where you're gonna limit everything? So right now we're not making the mounts for the accessories, we're okay. just making the panel. So okay. if you wanna put traction boards on, you can get the Max Trax mounts for gotcha. it. Same with the roto packs and all that. So it's a main panel, which is required. So that's what's actually gonna bolt to the rack attach itself. And then we have the accessory panel, uh, which you can run one on either side or run one on both sides. And then the table is ours as well. And that kind of nests in that main channel. So the table would be the only like real accessory that we're making that goes on there. Otherwise it's just the panels that you can mount whatever you want to. I really like dig that table. It looks rugged. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nice. it's super simple too. Like our whole thing is simple, durable, like there's definitely some cool tables out there on the market, but we just wanted to stay true to like the aluminum deal. So it's just a simple aluminum plate with a little uh, support bar underneath. Hey, keep it simple, stupid. Exactly. Yep. Excellent. Okay. Now what is the price point on this? Yeah. So this is brand new at the show. It doesn't even have a name yet. Um, so we're looking at for the main panel, somewhere between three and 400. And then the table and the side mount will be 150 to 200. And we're hoping that they're going to come out in October of this year. Yeah, we're actually in talks of making it the adventure boat model, but we gotta get lawyers involved. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, and where do people find you guys' products at? So we're at the number one up-usa.com. Okay, you guys, this is super sick. If you are in the, if you need to carry all these things and you don't have a roof rack and all that other good stuff, this is an awesome, awesome option. Thanks, I appreciate your time. Yeah, right? man. Thanks. Okay, guys, I'm here at Las Vegas Overlanding with James, and James, you guys have the absolute coolest shitter I've ever seen. Tell me all about it. So it's made out of bamboo and 304 stainless. So it's extremely strong and lightweight. It'll support up to 500 pounds. Wow. So That's awesome. And it's naturally water resistant and antimicrobial. And that's one of the benefits of the bamboo. And that's okay. why we chose it. That's perfect. Okay, now, like, do you just dig a hole or is, it, is there a bag that goes in it? We use What's a composting the... bag. Okay. And we always suggest that you pack it out. Okay. So, because you don't want your animals and stuff digging it up. Absolutely. Okay. And it's just, it's a good looking item and what was the kind of inspiration behind this so we were doing the mojave trail and we were using the bucket and our son was three and he fell in the bucket <laughs> after using the bucket and uh, the wife was like we need a better mousetrap so probably one of the best source stories i've ever heard that's awesome okay yeah and what is the price point on this so we're at 225 normal retail and at the show we have it for 10 percent off and okay. then we include a set of bags to go with it okay and it folds completely flat right correct it folds down to a two and three eighths inches, 
by 25 and a half by 14. That's perfect. Okay. And it weighs five and a half pounds. That's awesome. So. Okay. And where people find you guys the products at? You can find them at lasvegasriverlanding.co, not .com. Dot co. Dot co. Okay. Yes. Awesome. You guys, give a sure take these out. Not only is it beautiful, it's functional, it's small, and it's got a great story. I love it. Thanks, James. Appreciate Thank you. it.